an older version that would be better. But I think you're you're right. Uh, just to get it down on a manuscript is uh, the best thing to do because it's going to be converted anyway. But I have heard that mm-hmm. publishers like that standard 12 font times uh, New Roman or times Roman uh, font as well. What about photographs? Do you do you add photographs to well a novel? You wouldn't necessarily, but in for right. instance your screenshots and your your uh, book on uh, for Ricky Riders, how do you get photographs in there? Well, it it took a lot of work. That took a ton of time for me to do to format that. It was just um, the screenshots, and I you know you have to they become JPEGs is basically the image that you have. And there is a certain imagery that it needs to be for printed, and that's um, 300 dots per inch, you know, 300 DPI. needs to be very clear for that for the printed. Now, the ebook doesn't need to be as, uh, you know, 72 DPI is fine for that. Um, and, of course, when you get it all put together and when you upload that to Kindle Direct Publishing, it goes through their review process, and they will send it back to you and tell you these are the errors that we found you need to fix this you need to fix that so um you you will get you'll get it corrected and proper like you won't get anything um published that's going to look bad they'll make sure that it's you know to, to the standards that they want it to be for printed so it, it took a lot of time to to enter that and it, you have to know how to work the, the template and be able to upload your photos and images that you've got. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there are folks that you can pay to, to do it for you. I think even Kindle Direct does that as well. But you, they offer that service for you as well. You'll, you'll probably pay for that, but um, it's worth it sometimes if you don't know how to do it, to have someone else do it for you to, to get it right. Oh, yeah, that. It's definitely important to have your your images um, complement your text, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, and right. and if uh, if people wanted to look for advice from you on your rookie's guide to publishing, would would that kind of advice be in there as well? Sure, sure. I mean, it's been um, I've had people. I had a gentleman um, locally here that um, he has no experience in marketing and he was not even sure how to go about getting an agent and so I was able to give him some places to go online and search you know you can get books for that and I helped him through that process and um, if anybody needed help with regard to the templates and things I've never gotten into doing publishing for anybody else you know that's a lot of work but um, I don't have any trouble helping folks out if they're needing some guidance to get started when it comes to, you know, the templates and so forth. Well, that's, uh, that's very magnanimous of you. That's great. Um, by the way, um, you know, the idea of, of getting someone an agent or getting an agent, uh, for, for your writing, is that so important nowadays, uh, with the self publishing world or not? It's, you know what? I don't think it is. I I actually didn't even think it was when I started, you know, back in 2006 and seven. Um, I guess it's just up to what you want to do. Um, I, I, I didn't really need that because in the same with traditional publishing, you still need to market your books, you know, no matter who, is publishing your book, you still need, the author still needs to go out and market it across their platform, and um, which that's hard in itself to figure out which social media to use. You know, it's, there's so much out there that it's, it boggles my mind, but I, I've stuck to some specifics with Facebook and um, Twitter and, you know, things that I think that works best for me. Everybody has their own, I guess, interest of, of what they want to use. But um, I really think going the route with an agent 
I'm not sure how, how much that is being used now. Yeah, it is. And um, you mentioned uh, the idea of uh, marketing on, on Facebook and social media. Um, would you recommend that people uh, get their own Facebook uh, page for their, their book? Or how, how would you recommend that they do social media? I think, yes, it's, it's important. You know, you've, you've got the two on Facebook you need to get your personal page, and then you can create your business page. And you need to have something out there where people are going to find you. So whether it be a website, whether it's, you know, your Facebook business page. Um, I would have something out there that if people want to learn about you, you've got to have something that they can come and see where you're at. You know, because readers are curious. They want to know who their favorite author is and what makes them pick. And, and it's fun to share things on those um, platforms, a little bit about yourself, um, I like to share, you know, you don't want to make it a me uh, situation where you're talking about yourself all the time. You want to share information to, to folks, too. So you can do a little shameless plug every now and again, but I like to be able to share tips on things for other writers and a little personal tidbits for readers if they're interested in about me when they come to my Facebook page or my website, that they can learn those kinds of things from me. Um, I know people, I have a LinkedIn page. Not sure if that's, you know, how much traffic I get there. It's, it's hard to, to tell sometimes. Everybody has to kind of find their niche and, and find out which platform works the best for them. Goodreads is another uh, good avenue to go to. That's, that's huge. And there are, I mean, thousands upon thousands upon hundreds of thousands of writers and um, readers that connect, and you can create groups and you can communicate with your readers and uh, develop a, a relationship, which is important. So, so Goodreads is a little bit different than just a social media site. Is that right? Yes. It's, um, it's specifically hooking, basically, you know, helping readers find their favorite author it's it's you know your next book it's kind of um allows better communication i think between an author and a writer and the the readers are very upfront and honest and they can leave reviews on your plat on your profile uh, you can get people to read your book you can do um like i said create a group discussion uh, you can also create an event. Um, there's just it's it's crazy the amount of things that are out there that um, can connect the readers to you. As well as I've discovered new authors myself just by communicating with with other um, readers. It's it's kind of fun. So, for instance, you could uh, you could have a a group discussion on Sullivan Secrets that you would lead? Mm -hmm. Is that how it would work? Sure. You can create that group. You can get people interested. You can invite. And it's the same kind of a thing that, like on other platforms where you people will follow you. They become your friend. Um, and basically connect with those people, whether they be authors. It's, it's nice for authors to share help. You know, you can do those types of things or uh, groups with your um, readers. It's it's just a huge platform that um, it's kind of never ending of the kinds of things that you can do out there. There's still areas that I don't think I've used enough, you know, to um, to the best advantage of my for myself. It's kind of hard to do that because there's so much out there. But it's it's a, I think it's if any author does anything, I think they need to create a Goodreads um, to join it and create a an author dashboard there. Yeah, it sounds like a, quite a, uh, a way to get a worldwide group or audience mm -hmm. uh, very easily. Um, yes. As a matter of fact, you know, it's always interesting to me uh, when I, I read the uh, 
oh, the book sales and those kinds of statistics that uh, are up there on Amazon or uh, Create Space in the old days of where these books are actually purchased from. Isn't that fascinating to realize someone maybe in India is picking up your mm-hmm. book and reading it? That's the part that I love the beauty of when I self-published because when you go out to your sales page and you sell books, it will show you where that's coming from, whether it's the UK or, or whatnot. And you can you know download your spreadsheet of that and track it and keep the stats and whatnot. And, and that's why I like doing it that way because I had a little more control of it. And it's a lot of fun to go out there and to see that, that somebody in another country purchased your book. Oh, yeah. And matter of fact, uh, maybe even wrote a, a glowing review about the book right. for you. Isn't that fun? Yeah, exactly. What What has your experience been uh, where you get maybe more of your readership uh, in in those statistics? How do you mean? In other words, do you have certain countries that are more popular for your books? Um, mine has probably the most have been in the U.S. and the U.K., that's my my biggest sales. I think I had um, I think one time I did have was it in, I think it might have been India. I had one one time, but most of my sales are the UK and US. Yeah. No, I I I have uh, been very pleased with uh, United Kingdom sales for my books as well. Mm-hmm. You know, they they seem to be very interested in uh, Western yes. Europe in the paranormal and in u- the unique mystery stories. They really enjoy those. Yeah. I, I tend to find um, when I'll run a, an ad on Facebook if I'm promoting one of my books, uh, I have more views and maybe some more uh, conversations with folks from the U.K. It's kind of, that, that kind of surprised me when I first discovered that. And, and the fact that they're, um, oh, Seven, seven hours or so behind us uh, is fascinating as well because uh, you'll you go to bed one evening and uh, check your statistics, and then when you wake up in the morning, you realize there's been a lot of activity overnight. That's right. Exactly. It's always fun whenever I run a promotion that way that you'll see your ranking change, you know, on your book, and you look at it, and it's one number at night, and then when you wake up, it's it's moved up there on the ranking, and that's that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it is, especially when you make uh, uh, specials and uh, discounted prices on uh, on your page mm-hmm. as well. It's fun to see the response to that, um, and it right. it lets you realize that you know people have been uh, monitoring you, monitoring this mm-hmm. book, uh, and when it goes on sale, they jump on it. Exactly, exactly. Oh, this is fascinating stuff. Um, do you get many requests on your social media or, or on your website from budding authors yourself? Um, no, I haven't, actually. It's kind of interesting. I I had a realization when I first started writing. I, I guess I was kind of naive and started to get some of my books out there and I think it was when I was out on Goodreads when I realized, you know, how many authors are out there. I mean, it's it's just, it's huge. And it was a realization that trying to get my books out there to find readers, and some of them are authors, and trying to connect and, and do, um, I didn't always have, find that connection with, with other authors. It's Either it's discoverability, you know, um, it's, it's hard to say why that is, but I don't know. It's, it's, it's a never-ending process of me trying to understand the whole marketing. I, I've, I've read countless books. I've done countless webinars, and I've even chatted with other authors at times about the marketing process, and everyone has their so-called thought or idea, and there are times that I just think it's kind of like 
sometimes luck is involved in some of it too on who gets who discovers you. You know what I mean? Um yeah. but you can't let that 